HAPNVAP accounts for 22% of all hospital acquired infections. Around one third of HAP cases, mostly VAP, occurs in the ICU. For well, the patient with the highest risk of uh, developing HAP and VAP are usually the most severe cases, especially patient with comorbidities. This is essentially patient with immunosuppression, surgical cases, elderly patient, and of course for the ICU patients who are uh, under mechanical ventilation, the risk increase with the duration of ventilation. So in HAP and VAP, the most uh, frequent pathogens uh, recovered from cultures are gram-negative pathogens. They are reported in 50 up to 80% of uh, all the cases. The most frequent ones are essentially Pseudomonas arginosa and uh, enterobacterials, ESBL producing uh, enterobacterials frequently. And if we look on uh, multi-drug uh, resistant gram-negative bacteria, they are an increasing source of concern, essentially related to multi-drug resistant uh, Pseudomonas arginosa, ESBL producing enterobacteria, as mentioned, and also carbapenem resistant uh, strains. Multi-drug pathogens are more common in high-risk cases with severe illness and uh, immunosuppression prior antibiotic use, which is probably one of the most determinant points, prolonged hospitalization, mechanical ventilation, especially prolonged mechanical ventilation, are obvious risk of infection. The outcome for patients with multi-drug resistant gram-negative infections in HAP and VAP is marked by uh, an an increase significantly uh, reported in the literature for almost all the papers of the last 10 years, uh, with uh, an increased mortality rate around 27% of the cases and an increase of the median length of stay around 10 days. So it's very important to have an appropriate uh, treatment from the very beginning in patients with multidrug resistant gram-negative HAP and VAP. The longer the delay for an appropriate treatment, the higher the mortality rate. And uh, every hour lost will be marked by a, an increased death rate. 